In this video, we will talk about how to identify meso compounds from Fisher and Sawhorse projections. So, first, what is a meso compound? Well, by definition, a meso compound is an isomer that has chiral centers, but an internal mirror plane that makes it achiral. So we know that we have chirality, our chiral centers. However, it has an internal mirror plane. And ultimately, that internal mirror plane makes the molecule as a whole A chiral. So that's just a, a brief intro into meso compounds and explaining the definition. But now let's show an example of this, and we can do so by showing some Fisher projections. So let's start off with a simple Fisher projection. And remember, the horizontal lines on a Fisher projection are coming toward you, and we show that with a wedge and the horizontal lines are pointing away from you. And we show that with a dash. So we can start by adding some hydrogens, alcohol, and we can add some methyl groups. So now we can assign priorities. And remember, priorities are simply assigned by atomic mass. So the greater atomic mass, the, uh, the higher priority. So we can start off with this carbon, and we can see that we have one, two, three, four, and we move in this direction, in which case we have an R configuration. However, our lowest priority group is pointing toward us rather than away, so we invert and we get an S. Now we look at this carbon. So we see that we have one, two, three, and four. So now we're going to move in this direction, in which case we have an S configuration. Once again, the hydrogen is pointing toward us rather than away, so we invert and we end up with an R. So in total, the molecule is going to have an S our configuration. So now let's compare this by drawing another meso molecule, or I'm sorry, another Fisher projection. And by the way, there's something I want to point out briefly. With this first Fisher projection that was drawn, we can see an internal mirror plane of symmetry. So we know that everything on this half of the molecule is going to be the same as everything as this half of the molecule. And that's, that's simply what we're saying with internal mirror planes of symmetry. We're saying that if we cut the molecule in half, we will have equal halves. And so now let's continue with our new Fisher projection. So if I have, once again, some wedges. We show some dashed lines indicating pointing away from us. We can continue this by adding a methyl group. We can show an alcohol, another methyl group, Let's see, hydrogen, alcohol, and on top we can just make another hydrogen. So now let's assign priorities. And by the way, we can see that we have uh, the same connectivity for on this molecule that we do on this molecule. We have the exact same atoms and substituents, uh, and, but, but everything seems to be oriented differently, and this Fisher projection isn't as obvious as the other Fisher projection, to where we can instantly see an internal mirror plane of symmetry. So what we're going to do is verify if this 
carbon and this carbon have the same configurations as the previous molecule or compound. So one, two, three, and four. Move in this direction. We have an S configuration and we do not need to invert because our lowest priority group is pointing away from us. Now we go over here and we have one, two, three, and four. So now we're moving in this direction, in which case we have another S configuration. However, our lowest priority group is pointing toward us rather than away. So we invert and then we have an R configuration. So on this molecule we have, once again, S, R, as our configuration. They are the same, therefore we know that it's going to be the same molecule, and we can also say that this molecule is going to be meso as well. And I just want to clarify that we have meso. So now, the next question is, well, what if on a test you are given an example like the one on this molecule, where you're, you're provided a, a Fisher projection, but you're not quite sure if on that Fisher projection you are working with a meso compound. Because Fisher projections are, are great at showing S and R configurations, but they may be difficult at times to see internal mirror planes of symmetry. So one thing that we can do is we can convert this Fisher projection into a sawhorse projection. And we can do that by, well, for one, we'll start off by drawing a sawhorse projection. And we'll just show some bonds working like this. Now, another point I want to make really fast is that when reviewing this sawhorse projection, we are going to be looking at it from this viewpoint. So we'll be looking at it from top to bottom. And if you can imagine yourself staring at it from this viewpoint, I think that'll be a little bit easier. So if we're staring at it from this viewpoint, and we're also looking at it from this viewpoint on this molecule, we can make some comparisons and we can convert over. So as I mentioned before, these wedges indicate that everything is coming toward you. So in this case, I have a methyl. I can put it over here because it's coming toward me looking at it from this viewpoint and then on this side I have an alcohol coming toward me once again I can put that over there and once again I have two more wedges and on the right I have an alcohol on the left I have a hydrogen pointing away from me with this dashed line is going to be a methyl and this will be pointing away from me as well and pointing away from me from this carbon is going to be another hydrogen and that'll be over here so you can see that if we're staring at it from this viewpoint these atoms are going to be pointing away from us now let's just show for additional clarity where everything went this was added over here on the bottom because it was pointing away from us alcohol this over here went right there hydrogen and methyl was pointing away from us so that is how we were able to convert everything so now let's take this information from above and redraw everything so it's not so sloppy looking. So in this case we had, let's see here, alcohol, hydrogen, and methyl. And on the other carbon we had alcohol, methyl, hydrogen.
So now, the next thing we want to do is rotate this carbon by 120 degrees and if we do that we will see a different looking molecule or at least it'll be oriented a little differently so let's show that by reconfiguration so now I'm going to have methyl on this side alcohol hydrogen and then I go back and I didn't rotate this at all so this just stayed the same so now we can see with much more clarity that we have an internal mirror plane of symmetry and we can just draw our line right here and so that is how we can verify whether or not we have a compound or molecule that has an internal mirror plane of symmetry. And so I hope that was helpful. But, uh, yeah, you can simply take a Fisher projection, convert it into a sawhorse, rotate one of your carbons, doesn't matter which one, really, and by after you rotate the carbons, you can see if they match up.